like pretty, he's going to the, the bunch like there's a Midwest tournament that's right before the big house. Okay. And he's going to the big house, and then oh, wait, what was and then he's coming to Leo Saga, and after that he's going to Mexico, uh, back oh. to Mexico. Alrighty. So he's so he's in town. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of Javi, and we're also gonna see a lot of Elegant uh, try to edge guard <laughs> Clouds for days. Already 27% on the board, but keeping it even right now. I like that ascent from Javi trying to find a tech chase, but one thing about Jesus. Cloud is that he has pretty good combo <laughs> food for Luigi. Even though he's having a hard time getting in, he's pretty good combo food, <laughs> all things considered. Wow. <laughs> Just runs in there <laughs> and gets that up smash. Serve up a piece of slice, you're done. 63% on Elegant right here, finding the first stock already. This is big damage. Doesn't get the re-grab. Javi just jumping right out of that. Yeah, you know Elegant's going to try and snipe out that jump a second Ooh. time. The fair getting him off of, getting Elegant off of him, but Elegant's just going to go back and charge in yet again. Right, and uh, Javi kind of get letting Elegant get that stage for free. I feel like uh, to challenge the Cyclone, you could definitely do a dare or something like that through the stage. But you're going to give him the ledge, maybe try to figure out his like recovery options. Yeah, try to find some sort of trump there. Tossing him back off the stage. Yeah, yeah. he went too low there on the Cyclone. Javi didn't want to challenge that, try yeah. and burn his limit. He wants to maintain his advantage, especially since he could probably get the stock without having oh to use limit. Oh, Lord. Yeah, great STI from Javi there. Still not burning his limit to get back onto the stage. And you know he doesn't want to use it. He wants to take this stock without using it, if at all possible. Yeah, and you know that you as go. Cloud, you got to have your spacing on point and mix it up very, very well. Because Elegant's great at calling them out and just dashing in there with the grab after a whiff punish. Or a perfect chill punish, actually. Oh, here we go. Up airs. Catching the frame trap with the up tilts. And I like what Elegant did there. He drifted off stage just a little bit. So I think it made Javi hesitant to try and follow him there. So he tried to go for the safe option. So he was able to like, escape that combo pretty well. 109% on Javi in that... Up smash, just so close to hitting. Yeah, Elegant definitely has Ooh. a lot of kill options right there. That was definitely something that he didn't need to go for, but I mean, it put the threat in Javi's mind again. Retreating to the platform, Javi trying to charge his limit a little bit more. Platform helping him out a, t a little bit there, moving him toward away from the blast zone. And another power shield, Elegant getting all of these right now. Ooh. He tried to land on the stage with an up air there, catch Elegant off guard. Yeah, that was definitely brave of Javi. Really, really low up air, yeah. All right, and a raw back air, closing it out for Elegant, yeah. putting himself a 1 0 on the board. Yeah, just able to get that whiff punish off of the fair. That's something that I feel like a lot of people don't do against Cloud is that, that they think that, okay, I should probably just try block punish like I do with every other character. But like with Cloud, you're definitely going to be looking for the whiff punishes, and Elgin is definitely extremely good at finding those. Right. We're going to go to FD. Elegant is PGR'd, by the way. Both of these players are PGR'd. I believe Elegant is 25 and Javi is 45, around there. Yeah, Javi's like in the 40s <laughs> yeah. range. Mid-40s, and meanwhile, Elegant mid-20s. 25. Trying to find a ledge option? Not quite finding it. I like the footstool attempt from uh, Javi, just uh, giving him another landing option. Elegant just trying to find his way in right now. Javi trying to mix up the spacing just a little bit, and it's working out, but he's definitely doing oh the falling up airs a lot. Not going to punish that up B. He drifted way too far to the left and was not able to make it there in time. Catching him at the ledge. Javi with the limit just yeah. able to fly <laughs> to the center of the stage. He's got a down throw into neutral air. Oh, 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 okay. Great clip with the down air, able to co force Javi to burn his limit. I'm actually surprised Elegant didn't go for the cycle there of all times. So he probably would have been able to find a trading to stock, but I mean, to each his own. Elegant will be sent off stage yet again, though. Wow. 
Javi at the ledge is just a whole beast in its own, man. Oh, he tried to find a neutral get up into like an up air or something. He tried, he tried doing the rising up air to catch him on the ground. Not able to find it though. And Elegant just doing an amazing job of finding the right aggressive option to get rid of Javi's edge guarding or ledge guarding attempts, excuse me. Oh, okay. Neutral air. Actually, Elegant managing to shield and hit him with the up smash while he was still in the air. Great anti air. Right, down throw, didn't get the back hair, just a slight flick with the orange uh, light coming out. Elegant with a ton of rage to work with right here. If you can find a grab, that's going to be a lot of damage. And Javi, knowing this, is going to play around it and try not to get grabbed. Literally run away as we saw in the last game. Uh-oh. I definitely like what Javi's doing, though. He's mixing up his tempo like that there. I think Elegant had a certain tempo of cloud spacing that he figured out the first game, but Javi, now he's crossing him up just a little bit, going past him, and then mixing him up, calling out these spot dodges, so great stuff to him. The game is dead even right now. Right, there's a spot dodge, and he isn't, isn't able to find it that time. Catches it back at... Excuse me, catches it that time, tries finding a dare at the ledge, not able to find anything else though. Keeping him at the ledge though, so this is good. He's got a limit, he's got a lot of pressure going. Okay, finds a grab, Javi. He's got limit online. Yeah, when you when you have limit, you're definitely forcing your opponent to either neutral get up into shield to avoid the limit cross slash, or you're scouting out to jump one of the two because those are your quick that's your quickest option. Usually you don't want to find the roll or like the get up attack. Those are probably the most punishable you can get. Okay, Elegant with the grab, tossing Javi off stage. There it is, the up smash yet again, closing out another game. Elegant up 2-0. Potentially on track to get this 3-0 versus number 45 on the PGR. Yeah, are we going to get 30, chat? Spam ones if you think Elegant. We'll get that 30 and spam 2 if you think Thir Javi will at least get a 30 and a glove shake. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of gloves, I don't know if you saw that image. You know how everyone's tripping about uh, Mario. <laughs> shirtless Mario? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw a tweet where they were like, man, everyone out here tripping about shirtless Mario. Meanwhile, no one's seen, recognizing this is the first time we've literally seen his hands. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's like pretty hilarious actually to think about. I uh, tried to find a check taste there with the grab. Not able to find it, though. An, ag an aggressive option. Javi is trying to wait, but Elegant's one step ahead, able to get the right call out on the aggressive. Ooh. And that was the right call out there. Unable to find a spike, though. Mistimed it just a little bit. Yeah, Javi is down two games, and he's looking incredibly strong. Oh, I like the double fireball into the fair. It caught Javi off guard on the power shielding and was able to get that last fair to make it back to the stage. There it is, cross slash. Great reversal for Javi right there. 78% and up a stock. I think this is the first time he's had a lead all set. Yeah, I feel like that was the first time he got a limit cross slash or any limit move, yeah, really. The, anytime <laughs> he threw it out. It was, yeah. Uh, besides for recovery, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah. So he's able to find the right option there in time, and he's able to get a lead. But Elegant, I mean, he's no stranger to just finding silly stocks, so I wouldn't call him out or count him out yet on this game. Yeah. Honestly, I'm I'm willing to bet we're going to see a down smash finish. That was a cross slash right there. I'm yeah. surprised he didn't go for it. I think he was uh, a little bit worried because he thought maybe he would land immediately into shield and uh, get wow. a punish. The stare down right there, too. Up air. And didn't even need it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I okay. guess he was able to find it there. I think the upper was a little bit fresh too. He didn't really use yeah. it that much or hit Elegant with it a whole lot. So yeah, I was, I was, I was guessing that Javi was gonna close out that game with the down smash, but it's interesting because he hasn't thrown it out, and yet Javi is one of the clouds that throws out down smash more than any other cloud. So it's something to consider. You know, he has it in his back pocket. We haven't seen it all set. Can yeah. he get stocks in these next two games? Yeah, I feel like Javi's just a little bit afraid though, because if he can, if Elegant can find a whiff punish with, say, up air or like back air, two of like cloud safest yeah. moves, and then it's like down smash, it's pretty laggy at the end. Yeah. So if he's able to find punishes on those safe moves, then it's like, oh boy, what is he gonna find after a freaking down right. smash, you know? 
Oh, and there, actually tried to find an up tilt after that. Not able to find it, though. Keeping the percents even. <laughs> and I like that crouch from Elegant. I think he was trying to avoid that rising up air, and he was able to do just that. Oh, Javi is actually turned up his movement by, like, a tenfold since uh, being down two games. All right, gets that grab. Elegant gonna get that back air, unable to space it correctly. Javi gonna make it back to the stage. He's trying to find this grab, but he's running into shield. He's definitely afraid, and able and Elegant is able to catch onto that. But I think he footstooled him out of the jump there, and he's gonna be able to take that stock. Don't know if that was intentional, but you know what? He's the top player, so I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt there. We take it. We take it. 97 for 7, two, and he keeps this train going with the up airs. All right, back throw still not enough. Limit online making him just a little bit able to survive longer. Yeah, he actually threw out the limit there just to be able to sweet spot to the ledge before Elegant tried to catch him drifting there, so good stuff to him. I think he threw out the hitbox just so Elegant's edge guard attempt wouldn't uh, uh, catch him there. That's probably death though. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Good stuff to Javi. I mean, he did everything he possibly could to try to make it back on the stage, but without limit, it's really rough. Gets a grab. Down oh, air. No, no, no. Great oh, air dodge. Oh. Gets Dude, out if, the hitbox. If he had just gone for the immediate second swing, that was game. But then there's always also the chance that you might die before your opponent. <laughs> All right. Great DI in from Elegant just to make sure he does not get spiked after that tornado. He's got limit. And that's exactly what Javi was afraid of. He was afraid of the jabs catching him just drifting to the ledge. Javi tried to mix it up, but Elegant was not falling for it. 122% on Elegant. He's trying to find his way back on. He's, He's got, got a lot of limit. Yeah. I mean, Elegant's, or excuse me, Luigi's aerial drift is not the best, so he's able to charge limit. Actually, he pops out of the jabs and able to get a fair punish out of it. Uh-oh. He's got a limit for his troubles after that down B. Unable to find a stock. He's still got a chance, but that after stock is definitely not something you want to do. He tried Ooh. to find the right call there. Unable to find it, but a great drift back from Javi. Able to make it to the ledge. All right, Elegant. Chance. Oh, re tries to get him with a limit clam hazard, but I want to see not in a high tense situation like this. I want to see Javi just go for something really crazy, like a wake up down smash at the ledge yeah, or something like smash. that. <laughs> right here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Both of them are spacing back here. Javi, every oh, single no. time he tries to go in and wait for oh, the shield, no, and no every limit. time Elegant just spot dodges it. Oh my god, back throw once again. That's death. That's, there's no. no oh my god, enough. I'm a liar! <laughs> but he's forced to recover low now? No? That's it. He's gone. Uh, I don't know he's why Javi didn't go down. Yeah. He didn't even need to do that. <laughs> he didn't even need to do that. I don't know why Cloud didn't go down or uh, why Javi didn't go down.